Hey guys, it's Saria. Welcome back to my channel. So today is another installment of Forgotten Favorites. If you guys have been with my channel, you have probably caught one of the other ones, but since January, we have been doing in a collaborative group just a bunch of Forgotten Favorites or underrated Disney movie themed videos. So um, we've done quite a few so far. So for example, last month was Goofy Movie and I made this set of Mickey ears inspired by a Goofy Movie. Today, however, is going to be Oliver and Company, which I love this movie. You guys, I really do. I love Oliver and Company and I was very disappointed going through my stash of Disney stuff and seeing that I have like nothing. Like I don't have ears. I don't have a shirt. I don't have, they don't have Funkos for this movie. Um, but I have like nothing. And I was like, <laughs> what? Now saying that now, I kind of am like, maybe I should have made something, but I didn't. Um, for this video, I decided to do a lookbook. So I have done Disney bounding lookbooks on my channel before. I'll link the ones that I've done if you guys are curious, but I've done Big Hero 6, Coco, which if I'm being honest, I think Coco is probably my favorite one I've ever done. Um, and then I did Rapunzel, and I think that's it. If I have another one, I'll link it. But um, Today is going to obviously be Oliver and Company. Now, if you guys don't know what Disney bounding is, Disney bounding is when you create a modern outfit that is reflective of a certain Disney character. So um, you would look at their color scheme and their style and like how can you kind of reflect that through your clothing. Now, I will say animals are a little bit harder. <laughs> at least with people, you can look at the clothing that they're wearing and kind of try to imitate that. But with animals, it's like, I don't want to wear a white onesie and a fur vest to look like Georgette. <laughs> Do you have to think a little bit more outside the box when doing the animal characters, I feel. Um, now for this video, I decided to do something a little bit different. Normally I would pick, you know, three different characters to represent, but for this particular video, I felt she deserved her own entire video. <laughs> So at the suggestion of my best friend Erica, I decided to do three looks for Georgette. I was texting her one night and I said, I don't know what to do. I have so many ideas for Georgette. I literally have a cart full of Georgette looks. And she was like, do them all. So that is what I decided to do. Georgette is a star. You guys, she's the star. So obviously she deserves costume changes. And that's essentially what I've done in this video. So I will be showing you guys three different Disney bounding looks inspired by Georgette. They are all kind of different styles as well, going off of different ideas. And then I also decided to incorporate my daughters into this particular one. So um, you will see Kala and Daylin at the end of the video in their own Disney bounding outfits, going with two other characters in the movie. Be sure to go check out all of the other channels participating in this collab because you guys, they came up with some really great content for you and also be sure to subscribe to all of us because you don't want to miss out on next month's forgotten favorites it's gonna be a good one without any more chit chat let's jump into the video rise and shine georgette your public awaits thank you winston for that marvelous introduction after all perfect isn't easy but it's me just kidding, guys. I could only hope to have as much confidence as Georgette someday. But for this first outfit, I did really love how it came out. Georgette has a very simple color scheme, mostly all white, but she does have pops of blue, like a bluish gray and pink. So I tried to incorporate those as creatively as possible. Now, starting from the top, white pearl headband is actually from Dollar Tree and I really love it. It looks so nice and it added kind of a little bit of class as pearls tend to do. And then for the blue, I got this slip dress. It is not a dress on me, just so everyone knows. Um, so I used it as a tank top and I thought it was very flattering, very cute, um, but I definitely felt like I needed to put something over it. So I picked up this cropped pink cardigan. All of these pieces, except for that headband are from Amazon, by the way. Now this cardigan can totally be buttoned. I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like buttoned up. It kind of reminds me of like a 50s vintage style. I do think it's really cute either way. And then I wanted to show you guys the straps on this shirt. It is a spaghetti strap style shirt. 
The waistband of this skirt is super comfortable. It's got some good stretch in the back. And then the best part about this white skirt is the pockets. Now I did use this white skirt in my Baymax Disney bound. If you guys saw that, um, it's just a really versatile skirt. I really enjoy it. It has buttons going down the center seam line. And then again, some nice roomy pockets in the front. I also actually use this skirt in a Daisy Disney bound. So it's definitely gotten its use. It's nice and twirly and cute, and I think it paired really well with the tops for this. I also paired it with some super high platform white heels that are like patent leather. Um, I loved these shoes. These, are, these shoes are like the epitome of my favorite style of shoe. They're peep toe, super high heeled. I love the ankle strap, just so feminine and girly, and I really like them. And now we're gonna move on to look number two. So for this look, um, it's a little bit similar in the silhouette, but the style of the top is very different. So it's got a very feminine sleeve line. Um, it has a sheer kind of top part and sleeve portion with polka dots. And then the part that just got me was this pink bow tie in the center. Georgette does wear a pink bow in her hair, so I thought that that emulated that piece of her outfit very well. And then I paired it with this super light blue skirt, again with pockets, guys. <laughs> I don't know if you're like me, but yes, I am that girl. Um, this skirt does tie in the back with a bow. You can actually tie this in the front, which is how it's pictured on Amazon, but with the necktie on the top, I didn't want to have two bows in the front. Um, it's very twirly. This is almost a full circle skirt. It was super wrinkled when it came in, but a good ironing and it's good to go. And then I paired it with the, those same platform heels that you guys just saw me wearing. I thought this was so feminine and girly and just classy looking like Georgette. I did want to show you guys this top completely unties and then reties, so you can kind of tie the bow however you like if you'd like the loops to be longer. This also kind of gives me fairy godmother vibes. Am I the only one? You guys let me know in the comments. But here I am one more time showing you guys the pockets on this skirt because I just, I can't get enough of it, you guys. When they put pockets in skirts and dresses, I just feel like they care. Um, and then I also wanted to give you guys this view because I wanted you to be able to see the pearl hair clip again from Dollar Tree in my hair. And then this is the look with the shoes. And that's pretty much the whole ensemble for look number two. Next, we're gonna go to look number three, which is my personal favorite as it is the most Georgette. When one knows the world is watching, what does what one must now look number three is definitely a bold one it is not something that i would necessarily grab for saria but for a disney bounding i was all about it so this is a vintage inspired dress off of amazon i am obsessed with the neckline on this dress it is so flattering so beautiful um I will warn you guys, the white dress is a little bit see-through, so you do have to wear like a slip or something underneath. Um, but I just loved how this dress looked. It is a bodycon dress, um, very fitted. And then I accessorized it using this gold statement necklace, but I wanted to show you guys another option, which is this simplified pearl necklace. Um, again, I really do just think pearls are so classy looking that Georgette would obviously own them. Um, and I wanted to show you guys, this is the full body view. I did pair it with a gold belt. Now this is what the dress looks like without the belt. I personally think it needs that little gold touch. And then as far as shoes go, I paired it with these super sparkly kind of diamond-esque shoes. Cause again, Georgette, she's a fancy girl, guys. Okay, she's real fancy. Um, but I really did love how this outfit looked. It's just screams confidence and a woman who knows what she wants. Pose, ready? Pose, pose, pose. Pose. <laughs> Come here, Ollie. Come here, Oliver. All right, I have Jenny and Oliver here. No, I say hi, Oliver. Hi. <laughs> hi. So for Oliver, I got her a little orange T-shirt dress, some ah. yellow leggings, and then can you fix my belt? Yeah, give me a second. And then I got her. I got the matching belts actually, but this is blue and it's got a little little heart right there. And then a little white headband. 
And she's Oliver. Hey. Your hair. Ooh. All right, come over here. Come here, Jenny. Okay, so for Jenny, we have a white tunic similar to the 90s, 80s style. We belted it with this cute little pink belt with a heart in the middle, just like Oliver's. And then she's got some purple leggings on. And then show them your jellies, babe. <laughs> those were a whole dollar at Walmart, totally worth it. And going for those 80s, 90s vibes. And this is really hard to film, but you know, super cute to, to see. Say hi. Hi. Come here. Cute. Cute. Do you look cute? Yes. <laughs> Bye, guys. Welcome. Goodbye. Hope you liked our video. Hit that. Hey, no, no. <laughs> Oh, stop right now. How about you sing the song? And hit, you and me together. And the and hit the up, buddy. Bye. Oh, gosh. <laughs> My. Yours? Mine. Mine. so much for watching. Please let me know in the comments below what was your favorite Georgette look that I put together or would you have done something different? Have you found a piece that you're just like that needs to happen? Um, or would you have Disney bound it as a different character from this movie? I'm very curious. I loved chatting with you guys in the comments so please leave me a comment below. If you liked this video please give it a big thumbs up. That is so supportive of my channel and it really helps me here on YouTube. And of course let Daylin and Calla in particular know how much you loved their outfits. I do tell Calla when you guys write comments to her and I'll read them to her. Um, actually, now she can kind of read them on her own, but obviously I have to like show her. <laughs> Be sure to check out all of the other channels participating in this and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.